up, what up, that's the number squad, and welcome back, guys, it's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, SNM Squad. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys. Hey, if you're having a rough day, let's turn around right now with some good energy, all right? Most definitely. So, baby, what we got today? All right. Today, we'll be reacting to Jim Carrey shares terrifying details about Hollywood industry. Whoa, Nelly. You guys sent this to us, and I'm thinking it's something that we need to see. Some secrets? Something going on. What's going on in here? In Hollywood. In Hollywood. <laughs> That's scary, Big right? Big time, right? The high ups. All right, so guys, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys are notified. I'm ready to see what Jim Carrey got to say. Here Let's we go. go, my love. Let's get it. <laughs> Hell yeah. And we need to be clear. Shamelessness is not and will never be a superpower. It is the mark of a villain. Kidnapping children is not what great nations do. Oh, I just want to warn people. Could I see that? Just well, in, in a second. Oh, okay. I, I just right. want to, you know, I just, I want to tell people that if you, if you go to a newsstand and you read about me in these rags, mm -hmm. You know, 90% of what you're reading is absolute garbage. It's total fabrication. Really? A lot of people think that, you know, I, I've kind of, I'm kind of going through something, uh, but, but it's been my whole life, you know, and uh, they go like, well, it's a reaction to depression. He's dealt with depression his whole life, and I have, there's no hint of depression. Jim Carrey shares terrifying details about Hollywood. In today's video, we have some gripping insights to share about one of the most beloved and enigmatic actors in the industry, none other than the legendary Jim Carrey. Wow. With a trail of blockbuster hits that began in the 90s, Jim Carrey swiftly ascended the ranks of Hollywood's A-list. But as his fame soared and his bank account filled with millions per film, something peculiar happened. He decided to take a step back from the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown. A prolonged hiatus left fans wondering what had caused their favorite comedian to vanish from the spotlight. In 2018, really? the enigmatic actor finally broke his silence, shedding light on the very reason behind his retreat from the industry that had catapulted him to stardom. It appeared that the dazzling facade of show business had taken its toll on Jim, as he candidly revealed the dark side of the film industry's business aspects. Despite his brief absence, Jim Carrey did make a triumphant return to the silver screen following his revealing interview. However, fans couldn't help but notice that something had changed. The magic that once emanated from his performances seemed somewhat dimmed, and his recent works failed to garner the same overwhelming appeal as his earlier masterpieces. Join us as we unravel the captivating details of Jim Carrey's journey in Hollywood. From his rise to superstardom, to his introspective retreat and his uncertain future in showbiz, We'll delve into the untold stories that lie behind the laughter and fame. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things Hollywood. Let's jump right in. No business. Since the release of Ace Ventura in 1994, Jim Carrey has been one of Hollywood's biggest actors delivering one hit after another during the peak of yes. his career. However, there came a time when Jim seemed to lose interest in pursuing blockbuster roles as before. It was as if he had taken a step back from the spotlight. In 2018, Jim made a comeback of sorts with the series Kidding. During that year, he finally opened up about his change of heart in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. Jim revealed, I just didn't want to be in the business anymore. It was a surprising revelation for fans who wow. had adored his energetic performances on screen. After achieving immense success, it seemed that Jim had grown disenchanted with the demands of showbiz and he decided to take a break from the industry. According to Jim, the film industry's increasing corporate influence was a major factor that led him to lose interest in his acting career. The wow. constant focus on profit and business aspects overshadowed the artistic joy he once found in his profession. Wow. As a result, he gradually withdrew from the limelight. Although he did return to work on several film projects, it's evident that the recent releases didn't achieve the same level of success as his early blockbusters. Nevertheless, rumors persist about more projects in the pipeline, indicating that Jim's love for the craft still burns bright. Dumb and Dumber Jim Carrey, known for his brilliant performances and iconic physical comedy, became a Hollywood a sensation thanks to his it. roles in both dramatic and comedic films. His breakout in the industry began with the TV series In Living Color, where he showcased his exceptional talent. One yes. of his most memorable roles was in the 1994 hit film 
Dumb and Dumber alongside Jeff Daniels, where their chemistry made it truly special. Yes. However, Jim's enthusiasm and hard work seemed to go in vain when he discovered that he and Jeff Daniels were casually replaced in the prequel, Dumb and Dumberer, when Harry met Lloyd. This decision left him perplexed, especially considering that their dynamic performances had been instrumental in making the franchise a success. Initially hesitant about participating in the sequel, Dumb and Dumber 2, due to his busy schedule, Jim Carrey eventually agreed to return for the film. But it was during an interview with LA Times, just before the 2014 release of the sequel, that he opened up about his feelings upon learning about their replacement in the prequel. The prequel, released in 2003, featured Derek Richardson and Eric Christian Olsen as oh, the new no. Harry and Lloyd, oh, Robert, no. taking over the roles originally played by Jim and Jeff. Despite the overwhelming success and fame of the nah. first installment, the prequel received <laughs> negative reviews from critics. Right. Naturally, people couldn't help but draw comparisons between the two films, which significantly impacted the prequel's reception. In an interview with the LA Times, Jim Carrey once shared his thoughts. He said, I'm sorry, but you can't replace nah, Jim Carrey I'll, I'll on replace, anything. Just fi it's over. It's yeah. over. No prequel. None of that. No. Once Jim leaves, you know, the scene, it's over. Yeah, don't, it should have been left alone. Please don't try to replace Jim Carrey. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just not, not going to work. It's not going to work. you got to be original on that one. And he had his original thing. Here we go, guys. This is the businessman basically went, well, it's not really him, is it? We can cast this with anybody. They were all talented people, but I'd hate to step into the shoes of an actor who's made an iconic character. That's a tough one. So, I felt bad for them, but I also felt like it was a very odd thing to do. Spineless Hollywood Jim Carrey did not hold back when discussing Will Smith's actions at the 94th Academy Awards, where he slapped Chris Rock on stage. During a conversation with Gail King on CBS Mornings, Jim expressed his upset over the reaction in the room, particularly the standing ovation Will received when he later won Best Actor. Jim wow. felt sickened by the response believing it showed Hollywood's spinelessness as a whole. Agreed. Oh, wow. Agreed. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd, have, I'd have announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million. Most that, definitely. Because that video is going to be there forever. It's going Most to be definitely. Ridiculous. You do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because of his shining moment. The actor also shared his thoughts wow. on Chris Rock's decision not to file a police report after the incident. Jim stated that if he were in Chris's shoes, he would have announced a lawsuit seeking $200 million from Will due to the incident being captured on video and having a lasting impact. Jim argued that there were alternative ways for Will to handle his disapproval, such as expressing it from the audience or on social media instead of resorting to physical violence. Most he definitely. acknowledged that he holds no personal grudges against Will, but emphasized the need for accountability. Reflecting on the hard work put in by the nominees leading up to the Oscars, Jim expressed that Will's actions cast a dark shadow over everyone's shining moment. The Academy... I want to stop it right there for a minute. For a moment, Woo! I really agree with yep. Jim Carrey. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Someone should have definitely spoke up the way he just spoke up. And um, Most definitely. Just shine a light on it because, you know, that was wrong. And you're not supposed to do that in your big moment. And then get a standing ovation. And Happiness. it's like you're receiving a, a award. Yeah. Will Smith received an award that many black people have not even had the chance to receive. I think it may be, he may be like the fifth or the sixth in history. So it it's no like, class at all. I don't like to make things about race, but it's like as a African-American man, which you are, you really made the whole entire race look bad because you are the standard. And if you think you can get in front of a camera and smack the crap out of someone, and it, you're because, you're absolutely um, wrong because of a comedian because making of jokes. jokes. I thought that comedians, that's what they were this supposed is the world to do. That we live in. Make Jim Carrey was absolutely right about that. I'm happy he stood up, but I I really think that the fact that um, Chris Rock Chris Rock didn't you know Same sue way. him or anything yeah. it's like you kind of let him get away with it in a way but you know karma will get him but but 
I don't think Chris Rock was expecting that. Here we go, guys. Here we go. You're right about that, Jim. A formal Sorry, review of the incident to explore further action and consequences. Will Smith eventually issue an apology to Chris, admitting that his behavior was unacceptable and inexcusable. He attributed his emotional reaction to a joke made about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith's medical condition, alopecia. As the aftermath of the incident unfolds, Hollywood and its stars grapple with the repercussions of such actions and the importance of creating a supportive and respectful environment in the industry. Iconless red carpet. At a New York Fashion Week red carpet interview with E! News, Jim Carrey defied the usual conventions. Jim surprised interviewer Kat Sadler by playfully circling around her. When asked about the icons theme of the Harper's Bazaar party they were attending, Jim candidly dismissed it as meaningless. He said, yeah, no, I, uh, I, I don't believe in icons. Uh, I don't believe in personalities. I believe that peace lies beyond personality, beyond okay. invention and disguise, beyond the red S that you wear on your chest that makes bullets bounce off. In his thought-provoking response, right. Carrie expressed his disbelief in the concept of icons and personalities. He delved deeper, sharing his belief that true peace lies beyond surface appearances, beyond the labels and symbols that society often bestows upon individuals. He saw life as an energetic dance beyond the confines of superficial identities. Jim Carrey's unconventional take on the red carpet interview left an impression she as he emphasized scared, his she? belief in the deep, <laughs> interconnected Weird. nature of existence. With a parting remark that, we don't matter, Carey challenged traditional notions and left the audience contemplating the profound ideas he had shared. Well, we see that several reasons led Jim Carrey to step away from Hollywood. Firstly, the increasing corporate influence within the film industry played a significant role in his decision. The focus on profit and business aspects began to overshadow his passion for the art of acting, making him question his place in the spotlight. Additionally, Jim's desire to explore other creative outlets was another driving force behind his departure. After achieving tremendous success with his early blockbusters, it's possible that the pressure to replicate that level of fame became overwhelming, contributing to his decision to take a break. Lastly, the changing dynamics of Hollywood and the challenges that come with navigating a constantly evolving industry might have also played a part in his choice to step back. Altogether, these factors culminated in Jim Carrey's departure from the Hollywood scene, leaving fans and industry insiders curious about his future endeavors. What wow. do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below and give this video a like and subscribe for more. This is so deep. Oh my goodness. I like that. I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. It's like Jim Carrey, he's a spiritual being. Yeah. He is not worshiping icons or he is that man is so real and it's he doesn't care about the money. He cared about the art. Yes. It's correct. He's an artist. And when you take that away and you make it about the business, it's like you're overshadowing, you know, what he's trying to put out into the world. That energy, that good energy is like it becomes depressing. So I think that he just couldn't, you well, know, go along with Hollywood standards. And also, like, he gave us good TV for years on, you know, in Living Color, all them good movies, you know. So sometimes you just need a break. Sometimes you, like, overwork yourself. So I think he just needed a break and he needed to, you know, just step away for, you know, just for a minute. And Most then he tried definitely. to return, but you're not going to have that same juice as when you started out, you know. So uh, that, I, I think he just had to find himself. You know, just, the you industry, know, it seems like to me, it can beat you down. You yeah, know? I mean... It you can know, tear you down, and once you go against... And it's like you're just stuck in it, and you just can't get out. Once you go against the industry, it can become really bad for you. From what I'm seeing, yeah, you know, celebrities are starting to stand you, right? up for themselves. <laughs> yes. It's crazy. It's a crazy world out there, guys. And Jim <clears throat> Carrey, in my mind, and in my heart, he is an icon, because I, I see mean, him as that. I remember if Fire Marshal. Yeah, he was just a lot. What was it, Fire Marshal Bill? It's so or was practice. it Fire Marshal Joe? I remember him. Let me tell you something. I remember the mask. I mean, that was hilarious. <laughs> you know, see, when it, you know, the green face. Uh, you know, so he gave us you me, know, myself, year after and year Irene. After year after year after when year he had black year. sons, I mean, this man <laughs> can pull off anything. 
Jim Carrey yes. is an icon. I'm sorry. Yes. In my heart and in my mind, yes. he has saved so many lives. Yes. Like, he is an icon. He is. He has given us something Shout that will last Carrey, a lifetime. Man. And you we know. appreciate you, Jim Carrey. Thank Absolutely. you so much for sharing your talents with the world. Yep. And we're praying for you, Jim. All right. So, guys, that's our time. Go ahead and smash that like button. Get this video a big fat thumbs up. And also get inside the comment section. Appreciate you guys watching, all right? Yes. Thank you so much. Baby, let's go ahead and put that one in the books. Bam. And we are signing off, guys. Hey, it's your boy, Sean. And your girl. I love pieces. Mel. I love you too, babe. We, we love, love you guys. guys. Have an amazing day on Peace.